Thank you for tuning in for Financial Confidence at WYTV7 Community Broadcasters Network. I'm your host, Lynn Demons. That's Demons, no demons here. Want to invite you out, Charlotte, North Carolina, if you're in the surrounding area. Please join us for the WYTV7 Community Broadcasters Network Charity Golf Tournament for Youth Financial Literacy. Come to y'all and support our project as a player, a sponsor, or a volunteer, or, or a spectator. Join us at WYTV7.org. Go on over to that website, check it out, so that you can get registered, register your team, or make a donation. Yep, help us to help children build financial literacy. Thank you so much for tuning in for this episode. Feel free to contact us at any time. We look forward to hearing from you because we're all about educating, empowering, and encouraging in the community. Finances in a rut? Need a way out? Lynn Demons is here to help. She's your personal financial rebound coach. Being a wife, mother, and educator, she understands the importance of controlling your finances and building generational wealth. She is here to help you find money you didn't know you had and live life on your terms. Sounds too good to be true? Well, it is true and it's definitely a good thing. Lynn Demons of Demons Enterprise offers one-on-one coaching, group coaching, and radio podcast entitled Financial Confidence God's Way on WYTV7 Christian Broadcasters Network. Lynn Demons of Demons Enterprise, your number one financial rebound coach. Hey, 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 and welcome to Financial Confidence on WYTV7 Community Broadcasters Network, where we're here to educate, empower, and encourage. Today, we're talking about why you will fail to build generational wealth. Yeah, I said it, why you will fail to build generational wealth. Go get your pen and paper if you're ready to make the change in your life as I help to educate, empower, and encourage you today here at Financial Confidence. Yes, that's right, guys. Why will you fail to build generational wealth? Why will you fail to build generational wealth? No matter how many times people tell you to pursue building generational wealth, you listen. Yeah. Yeah but you don't, you decide not to do anything. You don't do anything at all. You make excuses as to why you can't. You do what you need to do to build generational wealth. You think those who are successful are at building wealth are lucky because they were born into a wealthy family. Or you think, I wouldn't do this, but I don't know what they know about investing. I don't know what they know about the real estate. I don't know what they know about the stock market. Or you wanna build generational wealth Um, But you think you're going to do what mommy and daddy told you to do, right? That's to save money for a rainy day. And if you save money for for a rainy day, have you noticed anything changing in your life? Are you sure that works when all the evidence around you, surrounding you, works to the contrary? See, what I'm here to share with you is that you must look for alternatives to fulfill your destiny and build generational wealth. So don't miss out. for the cause because the guiding principle for this show is Matthew 6 and 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. We also implore that you pray over your finances so you can do those things that you're called to do. That's to build generational wealth and leave an inheritance for your children's children. So if you will, bow with me. Lord, help us to value the things in this world that's really valuable. That's our relationships with you, our lives, and our families. Help make us responsible stewards of your resources, and let us trust your holy word. Eternal glory in our son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, guys, so let's continue this conversation. Yes, a hard conversation, but this is a courageous conversation that we are having today. Why you will continue to fail to build generational wealth. And we were talking about don't miss the opportunity. 
And there will be some of you who are going to find that this is exactly what you need to hear. This is, this is the time you need to hear it. This is the day you need to hear it. This is the moment, the second that you need to hear it. But you will fail because you will not take action. I'm going to ask you the question today, will you continue to sacrifice yourself? Will you continue to sacrifice your life? Will you sacrifice the future for generations to come because you fail to execute, right? So what are some of those things that you need to do? Guys, if you're thinking, I don't know what they know, learn to go out there, guys, and do some self-research. Go out there and learn more. Read a book. I have made a goal for myself to read a book on a weekly basis. Even if I can't physically hold that book in my hand, guess what? I can listen to that audio book. So I am continuing to stay on track with that goal because as you get into this process, you're going to realize there's a lot that you don't know and you need to know more. So after starting to read and getting understanding, you also want to seek out those who are doing what you would like to be able to do, right? But don't just go out and approach somebody and ask them for their wisdom because they've worked hard to get to that point. They, you don't know what they've gone through to be able to get to that point. So if you are seeking someone that's going to help you, one number one thing I want to ask you to do or that I suggest or recommend that you do is to add value before you ask for something in return. Let me say that again for those of you in the cheap seat. Add value before you ask for something in return. There's never a lack of, of resources. It's a lack of resourcefulness, all right? So that keeps you from being, it keeps you from being able to move forward. Um, so you have to make sure that when you come to the table that you're going to add value, it's going to be a win-win for both sides of the table. The next thing that I highly suggest or recommend, guys, is that you continue to improve yourself. There's always something that you can do better. There's always something that you need to, that you could possibly make a change on. So I want you to sit back and reflect whether that's reflecting directly in your finances or reflecting in the way that you build relationships. Think about the relationships in your life. Do you have successful relationships starting in your home? If you are married, is there a successful relationship there with your spouse or not? Is there a successful relationship there with your children? Yeah, I know it gets hard once they get into those tweens and those teen years because people go through things. We're all different. We all have our emotions. But we also have to understand that the way that we have these relationships in our home are reflected in the way we have a relationship and build with our money and in the way we have relationships and build in everything that we do in life. So I want you to take some time and just reflect so you can see what the need is or the value that you can potentially bring as you move forward. And then I want you to set some wealth trigger reminders for you, because this is not easy. This is a new way of thinking. This is a new way of doing. This is a new way of acting. So you, your feeling in your environment has to make you feel more powerful. So the, the battle, you know what? The battle is won before it's ever fought. And what I mean by that, as long as you get it right in your mind, then you can get it right in reality. But if you're still battling with it up here between this tiny space, then you're going to battle it with it and achieving it in real life. You will continue to fail to build generational wealth. Now, you would never think, right, that it's appropriate for you to use your child as a shield if somebody's shooting at you, right? So why do you use your child now as a shield in your finances for building generational wealth? You may say, Lynn, well, what are you talking about? Well, yes, we do think it's good to give our children everything that we didn't have. We want to make sure that they have the best of the best or be able to have those things that we didn't have when we were growing up. But is that in their best interest? Is that what's best for them? And because you're doing that, I want you to stop and think, are you using your child as a shield to not build generational wealth? Because you're thinking I need to give, give, give my child all of these things when the, your child really only needs you, your time, your love, your support. Some of you will stop and think, wow, you're absolutely right. 
You will think about your habits and realize this is self-sabotage. But you'll continue to fail because you will not take action. And that reminds me of a poem that's an unknown author that I want to share with you today to help you to think about your situation. That poem is, Who Am I? I am your constant companion. I am your greatest helper or your heaviest burden. I'll push you onward or drag you down to failure. I'm completely at your command. Half of the things you do, you might as well turn over to me, and I will do them quickly and correctly. I am easily managed. You must be firm with me. Show them exactly how you want something done, and after a few lessons, I will do it automatically. I am the servant of all great people and the last of all failures as well. Those who are great, I have made great, and those who are failures, I have made failures. I am not a machine, though. I work with the precision of a machine plus the intelligence of a person. You may run me for profit or run me for ruin. It makes no difference to me. Take me. Train me. Be firm with me. And I will place the world at your feet. Be easy with me and I will destroy you. Who am I? I am habit. So I, I want you to take some time to think about, would you like to change some of those habits that you have that are keeping you from building generational wealth, right? Don't be afraid to look ridiculous. Don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid to try because you're afraid and that's why you failed to build generational wealth. Go back through, listen to this over and over and over. Make sure that you put those things into action. Go ahead and start reading. Find information that you think is invaluable to you. Find a place that you need to begin. Maybe it's with a budget because you don't have one. Maybe you have one. You started and you stopped. You started and you stopped. You started and you stopped again, right? That's habit. And as I said in the poem, be easy with me and I will destroy you. That's the reason you continue to fail to build generational wealth. I'm Lynn Demons, America's number one financial rebound coach. Yeah, I said it, America's number one. We thank you so much for tuning in for WYTV7 Community Broadcasters. We're here, we're here to educate, empower, and encourage you. So I want you to go out there now change the trajectory for you, for your family, for generations to come. See out beyond just your children's children. Look out into seven generations from, from within your family. See what those seven generations look like in the future because of the changes, the impact that you are able to make today. We thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget, follow me at Demonspeak. That's D-E-M-M-O-N-S. That's Demons, no demons here. Demons speak on all social media. Until we see you later. I will see you later. That's right. I will hear you later. You will hear me later. <laughs> all right, guys. Stay safe. Finances in a rut? Need a way out? Lynn Demons is here to help. She's your personal financial rebound coach. Being a wife, mother, and educator, she understands the importance of controlling your finances and building generational wealth. She is here to help you find money you didn't know you had and live life on your terms. Sounds too good to be true? Well, it is true and it's definitely a good thing. Lynn Demons of Demons Enterprise offers one-on-one -on -one coaching, group coaching, and radio podcasts entitled Financial Confidence God's Way on WYTV7. Christian Broadcasters Network. Lynn Demons of Demons Enterprise, your number one financial rebound coach. Thank you for tuning in for Financial Confidence at WYTV7 Community Broadcasters Network. I'm your host, Lynn Demons. That's Demons, no demons here. Want to invite you out, Charlotte, North Carolina. If you are in the surrounding area, please join us for the WYTV7 Community Broadcasters Network Charity Golf Tournament for youth financial literacy. Come tee off and support our project as a player, a sponsor, or a volunteer, or a, or a spectator. Join us at wytv7.org. Go on over to that website, check it out so that you can get registered 
register your team or make a donation. Yep, help us to help children build financial literacy. Thank you so much for tuning in for this episode. Feel free to contact us at any time. We look forward to hearing from you because we're all about educating, empowering, and encouraging in the community.